All right, so we got the machine started up. That's step one. The next thing we need to do is line the machine up to the spindle. Generally, we'll have a part in the vise, and we got to orient the part to the spindle. We do this by an operation called jogging. Jogging means moving it manually. Several operations on the screen over here is a button that says hand jog. We depress that. You hear it beeping. Over here we pick which axis we want. The X axis being, as I face the machine, right and left. The Y axis would be in and out. And the Z would be up and down. So I'm going to pick the X and then turn the crank lever. And if you can notice right now, it's not moving very fast. It is actually moving. If you get out of the way here, you can see the vise moving over. Pretty slow. Next to the hand jog, there's four different numbers. And these are the speeds. I'm going to pick a little bit higher speed, 0.01 here. So you can see the difference in motion. I mean, I can get all the way up to the point one. Whatever. So now I'm gonna pick my Y axis and do the same thing with it. What we're gonna shoot for for this example is kind of eyeball in the cutter, the tool, to basically be lined up at the center of the vise pretty well in the middle here. And we're going to say that's our zero point. So I'm close to it now. So I'm going to take that one. Back to the panel. I need to tell the machine now. The offset button. I need to hit it twice until it says work, work zero offset comes up. Use my cursor key to come down onto the G54 line. There's a line that says G54. That's a program code. Then I'm going to hit hand zero set twice. Right now it's on the X. Now it's on the Y. I'm done. And that set the machine zero point. So now the machine knows where this is at. The last operation we need to do is load the program into the machine. Tell the machine which program we want to run. Hit the list program button. And again, using the cursor key, I'm going to go up and down my list of programs. The program we have for this class, you want to get to 22. So I'm going to come down, and there's program 22. It's highlighted. I hit select program button. And if you see there, a little asterisk come beside it. That's the program I want to run. OK. Go to memory, M-E-M. This is my program. Close the door. Hit current command button. And then start. All it's going to do right now is kind of do a square and bounce back and forth, but right now it's running under its own program.
That's a machine operation. If I want to run it again, what I'm going to do is hit the start button. If partway through the program I want to stop, take a look at what I'm doing. The feed hold, everything stops. If I want to, I can open the door up, see what's going on, close the door, hit start again. This is the actual program it's running under. This is what our students program. This is the actual commands it's running under. If you notice over here, which is beyond what the manual needs to be, but this is the feed rate it's running under. The spin to RPM shows up. What programming commands are active. All the information that, that the programmer would need to operate the machine. Okay. And I noticed that the green light is flashing. Yes. The machine's ready. Okay. So the machine's ready, ready to go. If, if you notice, I hit the emergency stop. It's flashing now red means there's a problem, something needs to be corrected. The machine is not in an operable state. To shut the machine down, which is the last step, all we have our students do is Hit power off. And that's it. Wow. That's pretty simple. That's very simple. It's complex the first time because of the screen buttons, but once you kind of go through it, they sort out pretty rapidly. Is that really the technical term for the buttons? Is that what you call them? Or? I guess. I, I, I don't, I, <laughs> it's just a monitor the control panel, and those are the various keys. Yes. Right. How many keys on here did we use? And are they labeled? They're all labeled. All, all of them have labels on it. We use the, uh, the hand jog, the speed, list program, select program, the jog keys, the cursor, obviously, part zero set, Power up, reset, and offset. A lot of these keys are beyond what we do in this class mm -hmm. and what we need for the students to do with a manual. Right. And then over here, you were, would you go back over there? Over here, power on, power off, emergency stop, and this should be highlighted big time in the manual. But this is a very safety issue. This knob controlled our rate of jogging, it's called handle. It's called the handle. It's okay. called the handle. For right. some reason, they refer to jogging as handle. And that's why this is, says hand jog, really is handle jog. Handle jog, okay. But they abbreviate as handle. Cycle start and cycle hold or feed hold. Feed hold. Feed hold. That's what's labeled, feed hold. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much, Professor Lutz. Thank you. I'll be looking forward to getting your manuals.